Hey everybody and welcome to the Unconventional Attorney Podcast. I am your host, Christopher Small, and I am the Unconventional Attorney. This podcast is all about four, well, three things to achieve one goal, really. Old school business, modern marketing, anti-fragile mat, anti-fragile mindset, all in the aims of building a successful law firm. And that's what we're here to do. Um, as always, so these are free, right? These podcast episodes are free. I ask two forms of payment for you if you are listening or watching right now. Number one, please go and subscribe to this podcast on iTunes. It helps other people find me, quite frankly. It's a very selfish ask. It'll, it'll just increase me. It'll bump me up the rankings. I think I have like 43 or 44 um, uh, review or reviews. I think I've... I, I totally just jacked all this up. Subscribe, okay? Also, rate and review. Subscribe and rate and review. That's my first ask. This is my number one ask. This podcast is taking a turn for the worst right off the right off the jump, okay? Subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes. Okay, I have like 43, 44 reviews right now. Those reviews help. Those subscriptions help, okay? My, my, my ultimate goal is to get into the top 200 for business for new and noteworthy. And by the way, there is a little bit of an incentive for you to do this. Every 25 reviews that I get, I do another drawing or do a drawing to give away my top 10 influential books. So these books are game changers for me. They'll be game changers for you. And uh, I'm just doing that forever. So no matter when you hear this, whether it's it's a, you know a day from now or a year from now, if you go subscribe, rate, and review, um, I will it'll pop up. I'll see it in there. And uh, just I just uh, do like a random number generator, pick a number, and uh, if it's you, you win. I send you books. Okay. the The second ask that I have is if you know another law firm owner that could use this podcast, please send to them. Just say, hey, why don't you check this out? Okay. Um, this show is only going to grow with your help and your support. And if you like what I'm talking about, if you like what I'm saying, then please, please, please. Just let other people know about it, okay? It's the it's the it's the least you could do, okay? And 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 to be honest, it uh, it's that's the whole point, right? I'm giving a uh, uh, sort of a lot of myself for this podcast, and I'm asking you to give just a little tiny bit uh, to help me out. So so that's that. Um, the other thing I wanted, I hope hope that you can note on this if you're listening to this in your dome uh, via the the iTunes the podcast and not watching the video, um, I had several of you reach out and tell me like, hey, Chris, the podcast is awesome, but the audio is kind of not great. And so I'm fixing that. Basically, I'm just double recording this right now. I've got, I've got, I've got the video going on in the camera, and I've got the audio going on in the, in the, in the, in the headphones. So um, it's, a, it's a simple fix. I was just being kind of lazy, uh, hoping that it wouldn't be a problem, but it was. So now it is fixed okay um that is it that's it for announcements or whatever so please go rate review subscribe tell a friend and hopefully this audio this everything sounds better now that's the idea so that's it today though you know we talked about some some mindset stuff the last couple times um and and i i really really love that i think that that mindset work that you're going to do um, the mindset shifts that you're going to make, the growth that you're going to make as a person is really going to affect your business in a greater way than learning any specific strategy or tactic. Because even if you learn those strategies, even if you implement those tactics to a T, if your mind isn't right, you're going to create your own roadblocks. You're going to create your own stumbles. You're going to create your own failures. And so you need to be consistently and constantly working on getting your mind better on growing, on, on sort of reaching new levels of, of understanding of yourself, of, of business, of life, okay? It's true. It sounds real woo-woo as it's coming out of my mouth, but it's just 100% true, all right? Uh, but we still got to eat, right? We still got to make money. We still need to find a way to get clients. We have to still know and implement some of these strategies and tactics so that when we have our mind working for us, um, it, 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 there's a there's a result, okay? And so today I, I want to kind of blend the two a little bit. You know, this is a, I see this entire podcast as a bit of a progression 
uh, just across the whole the whole um, uh, what am I looking for? That's what am I looking for? Just across the whole space of, of this business ownership thing, and um, so we're gonna sort of sometimes we're gonna be out looking out real wide, sometimes we're gonna be looking out real real tight, and uh, today is a, a little bit of a wider view on on the business to get you to to kind of see hopefully where your business is coming from and take a proper perspective on a daily basis and make choices that are going to help you in the short term and in the long term right the topic or the title of this podcast is you know um the business the law firm wait what is it law firm business is a marathon and a sprint it's both and that's really really important to understand um as you go throughout what you're doing okay i i run into people you know i run into i talk to inner circle members all the time i talk to syndicate members all the time who are facing these challenges they they um they they find this new idea or they hear about something that i, I talk about or hear something that i suggest and they start to do it and they and they go for like a week or two weeks or four weeks and they don't see any results and they want to quit and they're ready to like go on to the next thing and um, that that is the is the uh, the battle between the marathon, which is the long-term growth, sustainability, profitability of the business, and the sprint. And the sprint is you got to eat. You know you have bills to pay. You got things to take care of right now. You need money right now. You know if we could all just grow this tree, to use the, the analogy that a lot of people use, and let it roll for 20 years, and and in 20 years have a magical, humongous. You know, healthy, vibrant tree, then we might all do that. But the the fact is, in the meantime, let's say this is an apple tree. In the meantime, we need we can't wait 20 years for apples. You know, we got to eat today. So we got to do both, right? We got to do both. And that's what I want to talk about today was was maybe some of the ways that you can sprint out and get some money really quickly, get some client new clients quickly, and then also do the marathon stuff at the same time. Some of the activities that you can do will cover both. But I think it's really important to understand where the leverage is for some of these different activities so that you can sort of gauge um, your progress in the proper perspective, okay? Now, let's talk about the marathon stuff first because I know that you all want to sprint stuff. Everybody wants to sprint stuff. How can I get new clients today? How can I get new clients right now? Uh, I'm going to talk to you about that, but let's talk about this, the marathon stuff first. And the marathon stuff really revolves around brand. Okay, it, it's the reason why I've just I've created the unconventional attorney, right? This is a brand that I'm going to grow and build and, and sort of like um, allow to percolate over time. When you see me in 10 years, I'm still going to be the unconventional attorney, except everybody's going to know who I am, right? Same with my law firm. Okay, we only do estate planning and probate. That's it. That's the only thing that we do. And in 10 years, we're only going to be doing estate planning and probate. The only thing is, everybody in my area. Everywhere that I, everywhere that I want someone to know, they are going to know us, and they are going to know that that's what we're going to do. We're going to be market leaders. We're going to have the brand around estate planning, and people are going to come to us knowing that we are the the, the place to be for those things. Just like with the unconventional attorney, law firm owners and and potentially business professionals everywhere are going to know that this is the place to come to get real talk on business. Right to learn those three philosophies: old school business, modern marketing, anti-fragile man- mindset, and and just uh, really kill it with the business. So it's important to take this long-term view while you're doing the sprinting stuff because if you don't, the sprinting stuff can actually harm your long-term brand, and you don't want that to happen. You don't. You want the two to build on each other. So what do we do for this long-term, this marathon sprint um, branding kind of stuff? You're looking at it right now podcast content and then also by the way the the third thing really is um or the second thing is podcast and content they're the same thing so we're talking about creating content and then we're talking about paying for it to be distributed out widely constantly okay we're not talking about a tremendous amount of money but we are talking about um putting some money behind your message so that the people that need to see it can see it for me, my budget right now is, is a tiny budget, and, and hopefully it feels tiny to you. If it doesn't, it, this is tiny, and it will grow, grow over time, and you need to consider what your budget's gonna be too as you go over time, okay? So what we're talking about is a um, thousand bucks a month, right? I'm devoting right now just a thousand bucks a month 
to to this podcast. I'm devoting a thousand bucks a month to uh, my firm, and that's all going to sort of like paid social media kind of stuff. Um, I call it unconventional branding. I've got a whole deal about it. Okay, um, I'm not even gonna tell you where to find it because I don't. I'm not trying to sell you anything on this show in particular. But the idea is, you create a piece of content and you do it regularly. So for me, I'm trying to create a piece of content like almost every day. I'm doing a Facebook Live video almost every day. And it goes up on YouTube, it becomes a podcast, it can become a, it becomes a blog post, it goes on LinkedIn, goes on, um, can go on Instagram, you can share it on Instagram, share it everywhere. And basically over time, more and more people begin to find you, more and more people begin to hear your message, because then you also, like I said, you put money behind that and you can shoot it out to everybody in your area. My thousand bucks a month for my law firm goes to everybody, I think between the ages of 30 and 60 in like a 10 mile radius of my office. Okay? And that's it. Every every day. It's just the messages getting kicked out. Every day, the messages getting kicked out. There's a system behind that to sort of bring people in and then to continue to show them specific content over time. Uh, but I don't have enough time for that because I'm already at 11 minutes and 30 seconds or like 10 minutes, I guess, depending on how much I cut off the front. Um, so, because I sat, you guys don't know this, by the way, it's a tangent, but when I hit the record button, I don't just start talking. Often I'll sit here and I'll like get ready for like maybe 10, 20 seconds. I like take a breath, get pumped up, and then I dive into it. Um, so that's why I said that. But anyway, that's the marathon, really. Um, there can be a marathon in other ways. And, and what we'll talk about now, I guess, let's talk about the, the sprint. The sprint methods will also work um, to help with the marathon if your messaging is, is clear, consistent, concise, and you know you take time to, to craft that over over the, over the time that you're doing that. The other thing too is content, this content stuff that I'm talking about, it will get you clients quickly. It can get you clients quickly. The, the key though is not to rely on that and to quit this marathon game because you're not getting sprint results. Does that make sense? I hope it does. You know, you don't want to quit making the videos because you made a video every day. Every Let's say you make a video every business day for a month and you don't get any clients from it. That's not the time to quit. That's the time to keep going. Okay. I think Gary Vaynerchuk, to use a perfect example, he made a, he made a wine video every day, five days a week for like two years, you know, and it just takes time to get traction. It's something you got to just keep doing over and over and over again. And But pretty soon it's like, everybody knows you. It's awesome. Okay, so sprint, sprint ways. One of the one of the sprint way, the easiest sprint things that you can do as an attorney is networking. Okay, and I'm gonna do a whole deep dive episode on networking. I think here pretty soon. But at the end of the day, you just have to keep, call as many people as you can that you've identified as people that can send you business, and then you talk to them. Okay, you don't have to do quid pro quo referral type of thing. Like, hey, send me business. I'm gonna send you business. You're really just trying to look for cool people in an industry that can send you business that are also generating business on their own, okay? There are gonna be certain people where the business is gonna flow naturally to you, just like there may be certain uh, people where the business flows from you to certain people. It doesn't always have to go back and forth. The stream typically travels one way and that's okay. But networking can be great. When I started my estate planning firm, I was having I was having two coffee meetings a day um, sometime, sometimes. For like a for like weeks on end, I would just reach out to financial planners everywhere, and I and I didn't care who it was. I didn't know anybody in the industry. I didn't I didn't know anybody. I just I was just trying to, to get some warm in front of some warm bodies. And what inevitably happens is, you know, you take ten meetings. You know, maybe like three of them are really good, and one of those three has somebody right now that they can send you, and then boom, you have a client. You have some business. Uh, if you know, for personal injury, you can do chiropractors. Right, you can do. Uh, I mean, chiropractors are going to be probably number one. That's where they go after an accident right away. Uh, you're just going to have to go again. You have to go have lots of coffees, meet lots of people. Um, you can you can reach out in different ways too. You can do uh, one of the things that you really can do if you're having trouble meeting people. You can do like a direct mail piece to those people, inviting them to coffee. I would just be persistent, keep reaching out to them. Okay, but no, you're going to get in lots of no's. A lot of them are going to work out. You can't get defeated by that. The uh, the second thing you can do, which I just sort of talked about as well, you can do direct mail. Okay, you can do direct mail for to your potential clients. You can buy lists of, of different people, um, and you can you can just send them a letter. Say, hey, you know what? This is what I do. 
if you are uh, playing the marathon in the sprint game and you have the budget for it, you can just paper an entire neighborhood. So if you're doing estate planning, for example, I might not try to do that much targeting, targeting except to identify like a zip code that I know has people that would be able to hire me and that would need my services. And I would just send a direct mail piece to all of them. Okay. And this is the key though with direct mail, same with networking, same with everything. It can't be a one shot deal. You got to keep at it. Okay. So if you send a direct mail piece once, I would send another one every month, probably for, for until you just couldn't afford it anymore. Because again, people are going to start seeing your mail every month. It's going to keep coming in every month, maybe even every week. I would Google that, by the way. Okay. I haven't implemented any direct mail yet for my business, uh, not in this way. Uh, if you have a targeted list, I would just send them one thing. Like if you know somebody has a DUI, for example, we used to mail DUI clients. If you know somebody has a DUI, just send them a letter, right? If you know somebody has a traffic ticket, send them a letter. We used to do that too. Get tons of business from that. Say, hey, we know you got a I know you got a traffic ticket, and uh, here's ways they can mess you up, but we can help you with traffic tickets. Call us. We'll give you a D. We'll hook you up. And they called. So that that's a that's another sprint way. Um, another sprint way is Google Ads. Okay. So if you need if you need clients right now. Google advertising will get you clients right now. Uh, you know, SEO is dead, by the way. I've been talking about that for a long time. I've got an ebook. If you go to uh, theunconventionalattorney.com forward slash SEO, you can check that ebook. You can get that ebook. Um, and uh, in there, I talk about the way that you get good results, the way that you get, get exposure um, for things like Seattle DUI attorney, Seattle state planning attorney, Seattle bankruptcy attorney is not SEO. Okay, it's not it's not keywords, it's not content. It's just buying, uh, paying Google to get into the Google AdWords sort of like program, and then just get your way up to there to the top. And you're if you if you look into there and you say, like, gosh, it looks expensive. The reason it's expensive is because everybody's getting clients there, so they're willing to pay at least that much to get a click to get a client. That's how you need to think about it. All right. So at that, that's three. That's three sprint ways. I mean, that's plenty, probably. That's plenty enough. If you need more sprint ways, you can go to uh, come to the Facebook group and ask. You just go to Facebook and Google like unconventional attorney group. I think it'll pop up. I think it will. I'm sure it will. Um, if you can't figure it out, just let me know. I'll figure it out. Okay? Um, that's it. Uh, I got nothing else for you right now. Again, if you want to go check out that book, The Unconventional Attorney forward slash SEO. Please subscribe, rate, and review this podcast and share it with somebody if you know somebody that likes it. That's all I'm asking right now. Um, I do have a newsletter that I send out. This is, what, this is the promo time. I do have a newsletter that I send out. I think if you just go to, the, to my website, theunconventionalattorney.com, and, and scroll to the bottom of the homepage, there's a spot there to, opt to sort of like sign up or raise your hand if you want to get that newsletter. I'm starting to do all kinds of fun stuff, share, share, share some good content via the newsletter as well. I'm um, just trying to kind of um, reward people that, that want to like come into the come into the fold and hang out for a little bit. You know, share my stuff. I like to write. I like to do these videos. I like to do it all. So um, all these different platforms I like. So that is it. Thank you so much for for, um, for listening. And um, that's it. Yeah. Guess we'll, uh, we'll talk to you again uh, as soon as I decide to make another episode, probably in a couple days. All right. Have a great one. And I will see you later.